Congratulations on your purchase of the Power Smokeless Grill. Now you can enjoy all the delicious benefits of outdoor grilling indoors. In this video, we'll show you how to assemble your grill and get it ready for fantastic indoor grilling that's virtually smokeless. First, insert the water tray into the very bottom of the base. Fill the water tray with between one to two cups of water. Be careful not to overfill. You don't want to spill the water into the base unit. It's important that you add water to the water tray. This is the secret that helps the smoke extracting technology help eliminate the smoke, odors, and fat and grease. Now insert the drip tray. It fits over the water tray. Pay close attention to the arrows embedded in the drip tray. They should be pointing in the direction of the two metal prongs in the base unit that you will insert the heating element control unit into. Now slip on the heating element with control panel. It should slide easily into the grooves designed to hold it. Make sure that the heating element control unit fits over the two metal prongs on the base unit. You're in the right position to insert it when the fan switch on the heating element control unit is on the side pointing towards the back of the base unit and the power switch on the heating element control unit is pointing towards the front of the base unit. Also, make sure that it sits snugly on the two metal prongs and pushes down the black activation switch on the base unit facing towards the front of the unit. When the heating element control unit is flush and snug correctly on the grill, the unit will function properly. The grill will not operate if the heating element control unit is not placed on correctly. If the grill does not operate, check that the drip tray arrows are pointing in the correct direction and check that the heating element is correctly seated over it. Now add the grill or griddle plate. It's important to look at the mold on the back of the grill or griddle plate. The grooves are designed to fit precisely over the heating element. This will ensure that your grill or griddle plate fits exactly over the heating element for maximum heat transfer. Now, take the detachable power cord and insert the female side into the outlet on the heating element. Plug the power plug into an electrical outlet. It's best to use a dedicated outlet and to make sure your power smokeless grill is on a flat level surface. Now just heat up the unit for a few minutes by first turning on the fan, turning on the power, and then setting the temperature. Remember that the power switch and the fan are independent. You must turn on the fan separately to activate and get the benefits of the smoke extractor technology. To turn the unit on, push the power button and then adjust the temperature. To adjust the temperature, simply push the arrows or the plus minus on the heating dials to get to the temperature you'd like. The up arrow or plus sign turns the heat up and the down arrow or minus sign turns the heat down. To turn the unit off, simply push the power button. To turn the fan off, push the fan button. It's your choice to cover the unit with the tempered glass lid, depending on what you might be grilling. If you don't use the lid, you'll get some smoke. There's a silicone seal around the perimeter of the lid. When using the lid to cover the unit, simply place the lid over the grill and gently set it down. Make sure it is placed around the perimeter of the base unit so that the smoke will be sealed into the unit. That's it. That's all you do and you're ready to start grilling your next meal with the Power Smokeless Grill.